Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, and today we're looking at the topic of prayer as Jesus teaches about it in the Sermon on the Mount. It's the second of a three mini part series he gives on uh, the acts of righteousness giving, praying, fasting. And the counsel he gives to his disciples on all three of these is that they need to do it within the umbrella of the spiritual discipline of secrecy. We did a session for some of our growing leaders recently and we, we gave them a list of, of spiritual disciplines and, and secrecy was on there. People say, what's that about? Well, this is what this is about. It's Jesus teaching about how we should do certain acts of righteousness, not before other people, but before God and him alone. Jesus says this in verse 5 of chapter 6. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray, oh yeah, in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men and women. I tell you the truth, they've received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. And your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like the pagans, for they believe they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask. It's wonderful teaching that, isn't it? And Jesus contrasting the prayer of the true disciple with the hypocrite who loves to pray in a public place. And we're tempted, aren't we, sometimes to pray long-winded prayers full of Christian jargon to impress other people and make them think that we're super spiritual. And it's the same in Jesus' day. Jesus says, don't be like that. Cut that temptation out by going into a private place and closing the door and just praying between you and God. I'm a preacher and if, if I got into the pulpit and I started sharing as an illustration an intimate conversation I'd had with my wife, a heart to heart, some pillow talk, everyone would be disturbed but especially my wife and I'd be in deep water because everybody knows that there are some things that are confidential, that are meant for behind closed doors, that are just between the two of you. In fact, that's what makes the relationship special. And the same should be true of our prayer life with God, Jesus says, keep it between you and God, Not don't cash it in for some kind of social kudos. Just make it between you and him and you build your treasures up in heaven, not on earth. God rewards you. And don't complicate it with babbly long words and secondary agendas, but keep it simple. Keep it between you and him. You might say, uh, well, it says there, Jesus, that, you know, that God knows what we need before you ask him. So why bother asking him? Well, why bother talking to anyone we love? Because communication is important and is part of the, the benefit of, of the communication in the first place. And we'd love to hear one another's needs. We share those needs and we love to provide for those. And God in his infinite wisdom and the mystery of prayer folds in our requests into his plan. So this week, I want to go into a secret place, into an inner chamber, close the door, and have a heart-to-heart -heart with the lover of your soul.